This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, call to order the Zoning Board of Adjustment meeting this evening on July 20, 2023 at 6.31 p.m. Uh, there is a forum present to all commissioners are present. The uh, item two is participation and comments. Is there anybody that uh, would like to make any comment uh, on this agenda or not? Uh, do we? Very good. Uh, do they want to speak now or on when we come to that uh, public hearing item? Very good. Anybody online that wishes to speak? Great, okay. Item three is consent agenda. Discuss, consider, and act and approve the May 17, 2023 ZBA meeting minutes. Mayor Halsey. I move yes. to accept the consent agenda as presented. Motion is made to approve the consent agenda as presented. Is there a second? I'll second. There is a second. Any uh, any discussion? Call for the vote. All in favor? Aye. It's unanimous. Five zero. Motion approved. Item four is public hearing and action items. Four point one. Discuss, consider, and act on a variance request to allow the property owner to construct a 10-foot-tall privacy fence. The subject property is located at 612 Birchwood Lane and Ashmore Farms subdivision. Uh, Mr. Thetford, are you going to do a presentation? Yes, sir. Uh, very good. All right, then. Um, for those who have not been in a CBA meeting, all those who are speaking or testify uh, have to be sworn in, starting with Mr. Mike Thetford. Mr. Thetford, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So I help you, God? Yes, sir. Very good. Please proceed. Thank you, Chairman and members of the board. A little background information on this. So the property owner has submitted a variance request uh, application to the Zoning Board of Adjustments to construct a 10-foot tall privacy fence along the rear section of the property. Subject property is Block 4, Lot 23 of the Ashmore Farm Subdivision, Phase 2, more commonly known as 612 Birchwood Lane. The property owner is claiming that their sense of privacy has been violated with the recent construction of a full house located on the property uh, behind their house. A uh, newly constructed pool house has a large picture window that overlooks the existing eight-foot privacy fence. Uh, the subject window can be seen from inside the applicant's swimming pool. Uh, the applicant is requesting permission to increase the height of the existing fence by approximately two feet along the rear property line in order to block the view of the window. Pursuant to Chapter 14, Zoning Article 5, Section 5.3.4, Single Family Residential, 3A, the height of the, of the fence shall be or shall not exceed eight feet as measured from the highest adjacent grade within 10 feet of the fence. In accordance, to, in accordance with the zoning ordinance, the ZBA may approve or deny the variance request uh, that the governed or that is governed by the zoning ordinance section uh, 211.009 of the Texas local, local government code. The following in the, if the variance is not contrary to public interest, and due to special con uh, conditions, a literal enforcement of the ordinance would result in unnecessary hardship, and so that the spirit of the ordinance is observed and substantial justice is done. Including in the packet, we do have a variance application. Uh, fees have been paid for the variance. We have a site plan. We have photos of the of the new building and the, the existing fence, and uh, there we do have examples of the fence that is being requested. Uh, do you have any questions? Did we see the uh, site plan and the, and the existing fence and the other materials that you have? And you may point out to us what the uh, um, 
item is about. Okay, so this right here on the screen is a is a just an example of what the applicant is requesting to do along the back property line. Uh, they like like in the report said they currently do have an eight foot fence. They're wanting to add uh, two more feet uh, to the top of their existing fence. This is just a kind of a concept of what that would look like when they're finished. Uh, so is, is this the uh adjacent home or a pool house that we're looking at just beyond that fence yes sir this is their actual backyard this is correct yes these are actual photos of the backyard looking uh, towards the back fence and you can see the building and the window um that's correct so th this is actually an extension to the to the existing fence, or they're going to knock it all down and put an eight foot fence. Um, I don't know whose fence this is. Uh, so right now, this is just a variance to be able to construct the ten foot fence. Um, I think we need to figure out whose fence that actually is. I, I can't speak to that. Uh, once we figure that out, um, I, so the building code does not require does not provide any guidance for the construction of a ten foot fence. So the fence would have to be engineered and engineered plan would have to be provided to uh, to be able to go that high when you say who's do you mean which neighbor it belongs to correct Who, okay mr Shepard, one more question again you just said about engineering too and that was my concern when i read this here especially with hazlitt winds and that too yes. you're going to get a lot of mass there right to but um, no, do we have anybody that has any type of 10-foot fence that's been approved do you, that you're aware of? Say again. Uh, anybody that you've maybe have had to do a variance before? Oh. Do we have any 10-foot fence in Haslam? Not that I'm that, aware that of. That you're aware of? No, sir. Very good. Do you have any other materials to present? To no, sir. All right, uh, commissioners. Uh, Unless you have any more questions for Mr. Thetford, uh, then I would uh, invite the applicant. Yeah, just one more quick question. Yes. Mike. <clears throat> just for clarification, does page seven belong to this variant request? It's, it's the one because it shows Harmon Road on here, and it doesn't look like it pertains to this issue. Just, yeah. Just, just for clarification. I, I don't know where that is. This is an error. Yeah. Okay. Good eye. Very good. Well, I would invite the applicant up if you would like to speak, please. And your name? Angela Webb. Miss Webb. Do you? Miss Webb. And Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ms. Webb and Mr. Webb, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. I do. Very good. Please proceed. So I believe I came here once before, but I wasn't quite prepared. Um, what we are looking for is just a small section of our back fence to increase by two. So it would be an extension, not a replacement. Uh, the gentleman that we have gotten the bid from has stated that he's done this multiple times and has even shown pictures. But the way that there's a couple of different ways that they can do it, either straight up and down or sideways, uh, either way, but he's done it. And they do a fence, it's like they do an extension hole. Um, and I asked about, well, what about tornadoes? What about? He's like, it's not going to be anything different than a regular fence if something like that happens. Um, basically, what happened is we had the accessory building that you can see that was built behind our house. And it's right at 10 feet from our house, so right in the right spot. But I can sit in my hot tub, and I, that entire window can be in my yard. Um, I can sit on my patio. I can sit in my house. I can sit at the table. And that window is right there, face. Um, it's a obviously it's a 1,500 square foot pool house uh, that I know. Hopefully, we'll address that later in house. But but all I'm asking is to tastefully put that up. We've got uh, we have.
have already spent today a significant amount of money to put some trees and landscaping in to hopefully eventually build that out but or for them to grow. But it's new landscape. So how long will it take, you know, to build that out? And so when we moved to Hazlitt, you know, we bought this home. Truly, really, every house I've ever bought was bought because of my backyard. I, that's my place. I love to be there. I love to sit outside. My husband does well. And I just feel like every, like, the reason we bought the home has been real by that. So I just respectfully ask for you to consider that. Commissioners, do you have any questions from Mr. or Mrs. Webb? Uh, yes, I have a couple questions. Have you talked to your backyard neighbor about this? They have been out of the country a lot when we were working still, uh, because I was working with my app that they, you know, I said, hey, can you find out? They won't put, maybe put the window there. It's still not So pretty. did they talk to you about building the pool house yeah. before they built it? And my second question, uh, does your, did your HOA approve the 10-foot? They are waiting for me What's to get variant? approval on a variant. Um, and once I can say the city has approved it, then I'll show them the design and it's Thank you. Well, oh. Thank you. How much room is between where you put the pool and the fence itself <clears throat> for that window? I don't have. It, the, the red part you, here is actually you look where the, the 229-29, right there, that's where the window is. Is it? Actually, it's just to this side of the, of the right there. That's where the window is. So there's about 20. I see that there's a easement there, too, of about 10 feet. Is that what I'm reading? Well, yes, yeah. there's a 10-foot easement on both sides. Yeah, and then there's probably about another 15, if I'm guessing. 20 feet between that 10 foot easement. Oh, yeah, 25 when the, feet. When the, windows, when the window cleaner's in there, you can see it's up here clean the window. But from the pool to the fence, how far was that? About uh, 25 feet. Um, have you thought, and I, this is just a question stuff, because I, I know I've, I've looked at this type of thing too because of my neighborhood, um, but also putting in and not a boundary fence, but putting in one of those temporary fences until you're, um, until uh, the trees or that may grow up, may grow large enough. There's you can put in those like temporary fences, private that um, are more sort of around the pool. Itself. I just didn't know if that's something you. Yeah. Um, no, I guess I don't know what that is. I don't think that they. Again, maybe a question for my it be like a pool it's, it's not. It's not. It's they're more like screening fences. That. Uh -huh. So I'm going to section my backyard off the. Yeah. Well, I, again, I'm just looking at all the op you know all the options that That's you may have looked what, or considered. I don't think we offer up. Yeah, like we don't what? solve. I mean, we don't offer up. Like that. What's that? Screen. We don't offer. Up. Okay, I would just just consider the down. item yeah. before look you look at the item because I I guess that was my next question is is it, your the boundary fence is what we're looking at. Is yes, what you have to have. Yes. Yeah. So my. <clears throat> You answered one of the questions there with going down the lane. Is that where you stop? And it looks like that is on the back side. That's where the property is for that particular lot with the pool house. And there's another neighbor to the left. But there's a question earlier. Do we know who actually owns this fence or who built the fence? Did ever receive from the owner of it? Okay. All right. What do you know? Thanks. Okay, I have a, another question. So I drove by your property and I looked, and from the front, um, I could not see the backyard or this fence. So it's, as far as I was concerned, it's totally blocked from a front view of your house. Would that be correct? That is correct. That is correct. But it's a different HOA, so they don't. They they have an HOA to back. Are you on the meadow side or the Ashmore Farm side? They're on the yeah, Ashmore. No, I, I went on both sides. I went on in the Ashmore farm side. I looked down your driveway to where this place went, yes, and you I couldn't see. see you wouldn't be able to see. It. I, I did see also. Your I saw. I saw it. 
I saw and it. And then I went to the meadow and I saw yeah. the house. But I, I went on the Ashmore Farm side. I did see. So my question was, is it under construction still? I, I could see it. No, no. I couldn't see their fence. Their backyard. Oh, no. The backyard. Oh, yeah. okay. Only the saw their fence. pool house. Yeah. Right. Okay. I, you could definitely see the pool house okay, yes, on both okay. sides. Yes, no, I'm just talking about the fence, you know, for aesthetic purposes. You're driving by. No. Yeah. You can't. I got a question. Are you going to do the entire back fence or just the portion of it? Just, just that the portion. portion. Just the portion that, that's in front of the window? Yes. Okay. Is that portion illustrated on the plan before us that's in red? It's correct. It's up on that right there. It's that red. It's not perfect, but yeah, that right there. Yep. And it won't, tap, it won't do anything in the neighbors, the other neighbors. And they recently bought that home. That home had been on the market a lot. Whatever that other one is, it, it won't block it. Commissioners, any other questions? Any other comments? Not what we'll do is go to the public hearing. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> At this time, I would like to uh, open this item up to public hearing for any of those who would like to speak in favor or against this item. I have two uh, requests. Uh, is a Keith and Angela Webb. That was you? Okay. So I, I can take it that was very good. Okay, next we have Hank and Barry Gaylord. And I need to, Mr. Page, do I need to swear in those folks in public hearing? Only those who are witnesses need to be And so public comment is not necessary to be sworn in very good thank you please proceed i'd like to say that uh, uh, and if you would give your name and your address please my name is hank gaylor and this is my wife barry and our address is 608 Birchwood <coughs> lane that we're their next door neighbor to the right when you're looking at that slide we're right to the right and we built the house originally with no with that with their, we were the original builder there was no neighbors on either side of us you had to go a few houses down. And uh, we did it for the beautiful view we had for many years until the, the other area was developed. Now, at the time, we had a six-foot fence, and it was all the privacy we needed. Uh, when the neighbors here, we, we frankly have a pool, and, and just times felt uncomfortable. There's a ravine they don't describe there, but there's a natural ravine. So when you're standing in your yard, you're looking over your fence at, 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 your, at your rear neighbor. And so... We built an eight-foot fence with no help financially from anybody. We just did it ourselves. And, and, and our neighbor, which they moved into, matched it. And so it's a, it's a, it's a nice-looking area. And it really helps. It, it makes our backyard so much nicer to have that privacy. Even, you know, they're, they're there. And I'm, I'm sure they appreciate the, 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 their backyard better without me looking in it and, that, and so forth. So. Uh, we're here to support it, and I'd say, and I'd also say, you know, I think, Mayor, you were mayor when we moved to Haslett, and uh, it was because of your leadership we had nice big lots were developed, and 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 so that's what we appreciated having that room and area, and frankly, the uh, nothing against the people behind us, but that pool house is an in run on the uh, the idea of having these larger lots and everything to take a, uh, a build a full-size house that's bigger than the first house i lived in you know uh 1500 square feet and put it in your backyard it's just uh we need a variance to counteract that and uh, so anyway I, I hope you say yes get it done give me that very that, good thank you <clears throat> well i know that uh 
privacy is something that we all hold near and dear. And uh, who was it? Uh, Benjamin Franklin said that uh, a good hedge makes a good neighbor. <laughs> For many different reasons. <laughs> you know, from what I see, it, uh, that is what this is for, is just to, uh, in value of that privacy, and it appears to me tastefully done. Uh, but it is to you, commissioners, uh, discussion, consideration, and action. Mayor Halsey. Yes. I'd like to make a motion to allow the property owner to construct a, a 10 foot tall privacy fence. The subject property is located at 612 Birchwood Lane in the Ashmore Farm subdivision. <clears throat> a motion is made to approve the variance request. Is there a second? I'll second. There is a second. Any further discussion? I just wonder, do we need to add any of that for the engineering? Again, making sure the engineering is correct. And I'm sure that they're going to do that. So you would like to make an amendment to the motion or request? That'll go through our, our, that'll go through our build. I mean, he'll make, Mr. Stepper, make sure that's correct. Building inspector correct. would uh, maintain that quality. Very good. Okay, we have a motion on the floor and a second to approve the variance request. I'll call for the vote. All in favor? It's 5-4. It's unanimous. Your variance request is granted. All right. Executive session. There is no need for executive session. Uh, Item six is mute. No actions from executive session. So item seven, call for adjournment. Is there a motion, please? Mayor Halsey, I move to adjourn. Motion is made to adjourn. Is there a second? I will second that. All in favor? Uh, Unanimous motion passes. This meeting is adjourned.